the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aries, in the recent past, we've got the Six of Cups and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now the Six of Cups, it's a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but um, not always connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, the Six of Cups is with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is pointing to a woman in your life. This woman, she is one that is not to be trifled with. Often she could have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. And if this is not a person, it's pointing to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So in the recent past, you may have had to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is you want and need. Now you just have to go over it. Like I said, this Queen of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find her really abrasive. So basically, with these two cards paired together for your recent past, it looks like you might have been holding on to someone. Uh, someone that you used to date or maybe someone you were with, uh, a spouse, someone from the past, maybe it, was a, maybe it was a friend, maybe it was friends, a family member, you, you uh, kind of held on to something that was no longer, maybe you kept looking back on how things used to be, or you just you held on to a person, or something you kept holding on to, but you realize how life is going on and you need to cut it. Yeah, you need to cut it and get on with your life. But you might have held on for a long time. With the Queen of Swords showing up here, it looks like you came to a realization you need to stop holding on to the past. Now, let's talk about the present time. So, we got the Four of Wands for the present time, and it's with judgment. Four of Wands is beautiful. It indicates that you may be uh, attending a special event, one which will be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go, you'll have a great time. Business is likely to be going well. You'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you also. Although this is a very positive card in the tarot, it shows a need to keep your wits about yourself. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase, and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also mean that you could be thinking about move, moving or changing your place of residence. It's with judgment. Judgment is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments that are made too fast, too hastily. And if you know you're prone to doing this, it's a sign that you need to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. So for the present time, Judgment and Four of Wands, Aries, there could be someone new coming towards you. And it looks like it's gonna be a great thing. If it's not someone new, it's someone that you know already. Could be a love interest, could be a family member. But this is a love reading, so I'm going to say it's a love interest, okay? But take it for whichever way fits your situation. Now, the Four of Wands is about marriage, long-term commitment. So there could be someone um, coming along that... Uh, has the great potential to become really serious commitment. That's what this Four of Wands is about. Um, it's with judgment though. So you could find yourself um, jumping to a lot of conclusions 
about this and it could cause a make or break period in this connection so I think you sh you might just want to take this judgment card as a warning sign um, you could um, you or, your, or the person that you're dealing with I'll put it this way they may be the type that has a hard time forgiving you know like when you make a mistake they can make a mistake but you can't some people are like that they just they can forget they can ask you to forgive but they have a hard time forgiving so this could be you or the person that that's coming towards you with this four of wands and it's it, it looks like it could cause a problem but with the four of wands um, it's a good thing so just take this judgment card as a warning try to not be so judgmental and just try not to jump to a lot of conclusions because it could cause a big problem for this beautiful love interest that's coming in with the four of wands it could turn into something really great really great long-term commitment like I said maybe it's someone that you know or someone new but just take judgment as a warning yeah don't um, jump to conclusion conclusions about things so fast or your person they could be prone to doing this and it could get it could interfere in this beautiful four of wands that has the potential to happen for you coming up now let's take a look at the challenge we got the lovers card and the world card now the lover's card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins. It's possible that you could start to feel ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now to think to the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. And when you get the lover's card, it's saying it's safe to choose love. Because this is a time that love is going to be brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this could be a new relationship, a powerful rebonding of an old one, or someone that you know already. It's with the world card. The world card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line. So don't quit now. You're really close. You're probably in need of some rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you are at your deepest levels. Now in terms of work, well, in terms of work, it's a good chance that you might be working really hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case, toot your own horn, blow your own horn, just to make sure the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So the challenge is that you, you got this great love that's that's here. Well, it's coming if, if it's not here already. The lover's card is a twin flame, could be a soulmate, some type of special great love that's coming in and um, but there's some cycles that need to be closed close out some chapters yeah maybe you're still holding on or wishing about someone from the past we talked about that Aries look like a lot of you are still clinging on to someone from the past and you're supposed to be working on that remember you got the queen of swords here so you're supposed to cut it. So cut it. Close out some cycles. You got the world card here. It's saying now is the time to close out some chapters. It's the end of a journey. A cycle. Some cycles need to be completed so that you can be open to this great love that's coming in. Like I said, it's a soulmate or a twin flame with the lover's card here. 
So it's going to be a challenge because it looks like you might still want to cling on to the past. Someone from the past you probably keep thinking about. You have, you have, to, you have to end, the, end that cycle. And that's what it's saying here. If you don't, you can miss out on something beautiful. Lover's card is the type of love that we all hope and dream about. And some people never get it in a lifetime. It's here for you, but... Yeah, you could miss out if you don't close out some cycles or some chapters that you might still be having the door open for. Now, let's take a look at the outcome. So, we got the Fool card, and we got the Four of Cups. The Fool card is about taking a leap, just jumping right in. It could mean, so, it could mean um, new beginnings. It's about newness in one form or another. In many ways, it, indica it indicates the purity and open-hearted energy and in innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now, this is a positive card in the tarot, but there could be one thing. It's important for you to take time to be sure you're looking where, where you're going. Taking a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Yeah. So it's about some new beginnings. Taking a leap. Um, just taking, ready to take a risk. Just jumping right in there. And it's with the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about regrets. Wishful thinking. But this reminds us to remember to, stay, to uh, pay attention to what is now. And the count your many blessings that you experience. And not to worry too much about what could be because it's too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So just make sure you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So... Aries, the outcome, it looks like your person, this person that's showing up in your reading. Like I said, it could be a new person. It could be someone you already know. And if, if it's a love interest, great. And if you're saying, well, you don't have a love interest or you don't know anyone, then it's a, this is a family member that you got a good connection with coming up. But for most of you, it's a, it's a new love, okay? And it's a soulmate or a twin flame. It looks like your person is ready to jump right in and take a leap. If not now, they will be soon. That this is the outcome. They're ready to just go for it. But it looks like you, you got regrets here. Why do you have regrets? You got some great love that's coming in. Something really good. It's in the present and in the challenge. The only thing I could see is that... I hate to say it, but... The only thing I can see in this reading is that you regret... For a lot of you, you're still clinging to someone from the past. That's the only thing I can see here. And you, you, maybe you regret that you didn't let go of this past person a long time ago. Because now you realize that you missed out on so much holding on to someone from the past. So you found somebody that's ready to jump in and take a leap, take a leap with you. Yeah, this person wants commitment, marriage, and it feels good. It's a, like I said, it's a soulmate. It's a twin flame. Those those relationships, they feel good, especially in the beginning. <laughs> Extremely. So you you could uh, have regrets. I'll put it like this. There's a couple of storylines. You regret that you held on to the past so long and uh, you wish you hadn't of. 
because you realize that you wasted time. You wasted a lot of life on holding on to something that now you realize will, ne will never be. So this new love has opened up your eyes and you're ready to jump in too and your person is ready to jump in, this new person. And you just regret that you spent so many days holding on to, to a long lost love. So you got regrets, but the good thing is that you're waking up now. You're ready to jump into this wonderful soulmate and they're ready to jump into you. You just got to do some work. You got to continue to focus on closing out some cycles and closing out some chapters. But it, it, the outcome looks good. I'm going to say yes. Because we got the full card. You're ready to take a leap finally. And you probably haven't felt this way about someone for a long time. And maybe someone hasn't felt this way about you for a long time. But good love is coming in. You just gotta, you got some work to do. You got to use that sword that the queen has. Continue to cut out the past if it dumps on your head. And close out some cycles. So Aries, that's what I have for you. Have for you. Have for you. Have for you.